Come on, Agent Physics, help me solve this mystery. I have connected a sine wave at the input. So this is what the input looks like. But at the output, half the wave is, has disappeared. I only get one half of the wave. Any guesses? What could be there inside this box over here? Yes, you got it right. It's a diode. Today we are going to talk about the working of a junction diode and let's see why does it allow only the positive half cycles to go through and why does it stop the negative half cycles. This is the circuit symbol for a diode. It's basically an arrow and this side is the P side and this side is the N side. A diode is a PN junction. So let's first of all draw a PN junction. The majority carriers on the N side are these electrons and the positive charge that you can see are the lattice sides. On the P side, the majority charges are the hole. You can see that the negative charges have diffused across the junction and combined with the holes present over here. For instance, say these are the electrons and these are the holes. Now, when the electrons diffuse to the other side, they occupy these vacancies. So once the electron occupies this vacancy over here, then the hole no longer exists. Now this region in which there are no free charge carriers is the depletion region. And due to this layer of positive charge on the N side and negative charge on the P side, there is a potential difference. And that potential difference can be shown on a graph. You have a positive potential on the N side and a negative potential on the P side. Now this potential difference creates a potential barrier that stops further diffusion of electrons from taking place. Because when the electrons move to this side, they will be repelled back by the negative charges which are present on this side. Now comes the most important part. We join a battery with its positive terminal connected to the P side and the negative terminal connected to the N side. When we connect the diode in this manner, we find that say we have a galvanometer over here in the circuit, then the current in the galvanometer increases. When the battery is connected in this manner, the PN junction is said to be forward biased. And in this case, the current increases. See, actually, if you increase this biasing voltage, then the current will further increase. We can show this on a graph. Let me just draw the graph. We have V over here. This is I is the current and OA. So, as you increase V, I increases along OA. Now, why do you think the current increases when we increase the forward bias? See, due to the forward bias, this is the positive side and this is the negative side. So, the holes are being pushed away from the end towards the center, towards the junction. And if you look at the electrons, since this end is negative, then the electrons are also pushed towards the junction. So, you will have more electrons close to the junction and more holes close to the junction. Due to this, the width of the depletion region decreases. In addition to that, the potential barrier also reduces. So the opposition to the flow of current is less now. This means in a forward bias, all conditions are such that it helps the current to increase because the depletion region has decreased, the potential barrier has decreased, so the electrons can cross over to the other side easily now. Now let us consider a reverse bias which means we'll connect the negative terminal of the battery to this end 
and the positive terminal to the other end. So to the P side we connect the negative terminal and to the N side we connect the positive terminal. This is called a reverse bias. Now as you probably guessed the current will reduce in case of a reverse bias. The current, the current decreases in case of a reverse bias. Let's just draw this on a graph. Now this graph OB shows a tiny amount of current that flows due to reverse bias. And this small current is due to the minority carriers. See on the N side there are a few holes that are present and on the P side there are a few electrons which are present. So see this layer of positive charge on the N side which is present at the junction attracts these electrons. So these electrons cross over to the other side and combine with these holes. But the uh, concentration of these minority carriers is very low. So this minority current is very less. Now let's take a look at the majority carriers. See this negative potential at this end will pull the holes towards this side of the junction. So the holes are getting attracted to this side of the junction and they are moving away from the junction. Similarly, the electrons are attracted by the positive terminal of the battery. So the electrons will tend to move towards the end of the junction and away from the junction. This leads to an increase in the depletion region because the mobile charge carriers tend to move away from the junction. When the depletion region increases, then the potential barrier also increases. So if the potential barrier increases, it becomes more difficult for the electrons to cross over and combine with the holes on the other side. So this leads to a decrease in current. And you know that the tiny amount of current which is present is due to the minority carriers. Now coming back to the mystery of the disappearing half waves, I am sure you can answer this. See for the positive half cycle, the diode is conducting. So since the diode is conducting, we get an output for the first positive half cycle. Now during the negative half cycle, the diode is reverse biased because this end will be negative. So in that case, the diode will not conduct. So since there is practically no current flowing, we say that the diode is non-conducting and we get a zero output. Again during the next positive half cycle, the diode is conducting, so we have an output. During the next negative half cycle, once again it will be reverse biased and we have zero output. So the output is only in one direction, it is only in the positive direction and there is no negative half cycle present. The output is now said to be rectified because it is only flowing in one direction. Though you can still see that this is pulsating which means it is varying, it is not constant but still it is a DC output because it doesn't reverse direction. To test your understanding try these questions. The answers are given a short while later. And here are the answers. If you've got all of them right, don't forget to give yourself a pat on your back. And if you haven't, don't bother, go back. Go through the lesson once again and try the questions again.